You said something's going down with the Matsugane family? Yep, it's all pretty much gone to shit. After the Patriarch died, everyone just kind of went their separate ways. Especially the younger guys. Is anyone trying to hold the family together? Guy named Kengo, yeah. You beat the stuffing out of him once or twice, remember? He was one of Captain Hamura's golden boys. There's kind of something up with him, though. What? You'll see when we get there. Wanna tag along? Well, you wanna check on the... Sure, let's do it. You wanna go see Yokobo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is. Sorry for asking you to do this, Yagami. The family's a real mess right now. Sure you don't want to bring Kaito-san along? He got expelled, remember? They wouldn't even let him through the door. Right. Anyway, let's go. Doubt I can stop them all on my own. Stop them? What do you mean? Just come on. Yo, Kengo. Higashi Anaki. Finally went and brought me Yagami-san, huh? Huh? Easy. It's okay. Need something from me? Our patriarch is dead. And I hear you've got the scoop on who did it. You know who the mole is. And I want you to tell us. So you want revenge? We don't just want it. We need to get it. All part of being a Yakuza. You're gonna massacre the son of a bitch! You can't handle it. The fuck you say to me?! I've told them that already. But they won't listen. So what do you want me to do? I mean, you're a lawyer, yeah? Isn't persuasion your job? You can't worm your way out of this. Tell us who the mole is! Or... Do you need a little encouragement? Kengo! I'm rebuilding this family one way or another. Now stand the fuck down, Aniki! You want to know that bad? I'll tell you. Huh? But 
Who is he? <sighs> Kuroiwa. From the Tokyo PD. Organized crime. <laughs> Bastard's a cop. <sighs> Doesn't end with him, though. Kuroiwa's just a tool for the people really behind all this. They're not afraid of some small-time Yakuza thugs. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's why I'm gonna beat them myself. In court. <laughs> you... You seriously think... You can do that? <laughs> Matsukane-san was like a father to me for the last 20 years. I knew him longer than you guys. I want revenge as bad as you. Maybe more. Can you let me handle this one? <laughs> I owe you one, Yagami. Don't mention it. Later. Killing Kuroiwa wouldn't accomplish shit. He's just the tip of this whole fucked up iceberg. Let Yagami do this. You might even want to consider helping him. Yo. Sorry, Agashi pulled you into that. <laughs> Were you spying on me? Not too hard when you've got a drone. <laughs> I guess not, no. Anyways, with Matsugane-san gone, the family's been drifting in the wind like a kite without a string. Looks like you brought him back down to Earth, though. Thanks, man. Uh, you hit your head or something? Yeah, yeah, make your jokes. Just don't say I never said it. Right. You ready to see Okubo? Yeah. It's time to clear the air. Yagami-san. Can you give Okubo a message for me? Sure. What's up? Once he gets out, I want to go visit Emmy's grave with him. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. There's a lot we have to take care of before we can even get to that, though. Yeah. Otherwise, Okubo will get executed and never have his name cleared. We'll fix it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. We can't let him die in there. Agreed. I'll give him the message. I don't believe this. You're serious? Yeah. He told us his name was Sugiura at first. Fumiya-kun. You know, I only met him once before Emmy's death. Both of us were a little shy, though, so we didn't really talk. I can still remember how he glared at me during the trial. And how I couldn't even look him in the eye. By the way, he told me to tell you something. Huh? He said he wanted... He wants to visit Emmy's grave with you. I see. He really wants to do that? With me? Yeah. I'd like to take him up on that. Ayabe's trial is coming up. We're gonna snare the guy behind 89. A man from the Ministry of Health by the name of Ichinose. Can you do it, though? For real? Yeah. 
The prosecutor's on my side, too. Ichinose won't stand a chance. I'll tell them you're innocent, too. I gave up on that a long time ago. I thought no one would hear me. No matter how loud I scream. I thought I'd die branded a murderer. But if Fumiya-kun understands, maybe there's still a chance. If the guy who hated me most forgives me, maybe everyone else will too. I'll get you out of here. I promise. I'd like to talk to Kido if possible. He'd make a valuable witness in Ayabe's trial. We've got some dirt on him too. Yeah, thanks to Saori-san's little adventure. He won't be able to turn us away once we remind him of that. Yagami-san, are you ready to go to the ADDC? Sure, let's do it. We'll need to take a taxi to the ADDC, right? I knew it would all work out. What do you mean? Seeing Kido without an appointment. That video has some serious power. You can thank Sari-san for that. Afternoon. Sorry to barge in. We know you're busy. Take a seat. <sighs> well, let's get straight to the point. We'd like to call you to the stand as a witness in Ayabe's trial. That's not possible. Would this change your mind? You've made me a very happy man today. But we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> Do what you will. Wait, really? Ichinose is unstoppable, and my testimony won't change that. You're up against everyone who stands to gain from 89, including patients who it would save, and their families. You can't win. Not how things stand, no. But that's exactly why we need your testimony. I have no obligation to help you. If you truly want to release the video, release it. You are aware of the consequences that would have, right? I'll become the laughing stock of the scientific world. My career will be over. But I'd rather that than make an enemy of Ichinose. I'm not ready to die just yet. Are you really that scared of him? Of course. Losing my jaw is a much more appealing proposal than losing my life. Nobody's dying if we can help it. We can protect you. Don't you understand? No matter what I say, you can't win this trial. But if I open my mouth, I'll have to live the rest of my life in fear. Until the day they finally finish the job. Did you talk to Ichinose after Kuroiwa rescued you from the arcade? I have nothing to say about that. Now leave me alone. How can we change your mind? You're in the middle of this whole 89 mess. But you never actually killed anyone yourself. We 
You might be able to argue for a lighter sentence. Absolutely not. You can't convince me to sign my own death warrant. <sighs> Damn it. We're not getting anywhere. You shouldn't fight a battle you can't win. I would never have gotten where I am today without that bit of advice. So you don't think we can beat him? <laughs> Do you even have a shred of evidence? Oh, well, I suppose you did. But Ichinose-san took it right out of your hands. Can't you see how weak you are compared to him? You don't have a chance in hell of winning this case. Well, you're right. <laughs> For now, I guess. It's easy to tell how the case will go. We just don't have quite enough evidence yet. There's no way we'll take down Ichinose with what we've got at the moment. I appreciate the advice. Not yet, Yagami-san. He's trying to take us for fools. I can make him talk for sure. All we have to do is push the video to- We'd be wasting our time. You can't say that if you don't try. Come on, Yagami-san. I said we're not doing it. Please, just, just give it a shot. If the video doesn't work, then we'll find some other way to- There's no point. No point? That's enough of the tough detective act. You can't run. Hoshino! <clears throat> I never said anything about running away, okay? But... I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up! Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. Welcome back, Yagami-san. Hey, man. How's the prep going for Ayabe's trial? Not bad. I've gone everywhere I wanted to go, at least. So, you ready to do this, then? There's no going back after this. Well, when you put it like that... So, you ready to get this rolling? Yeah, I'm good to go. Gotcha. By the way, uh, I just got a call from Hoshino-kun. Sounded gloomy as hell. Apparently, he wants you to talk to Genda-sensei over at the office when you get a minute. Oh? He didn't say what about, though. Anyway, I'm just the messenger. Catch you later. Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino-kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Over here, Yagami. Something you wanted to discuss, Genda-sensei? No, not me. Him. Prosecutor Izumira. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? And no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. 
So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No. It went fairly smoothly. So, you want me to explain AD-9? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in AD-9? Involved in a murder? <laughs> it's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. And don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance, and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But his language may in fact be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose-san. You have a point. It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have another meeting to get to. Nice going. You made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shona would. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. Good work, Izumita. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? Well, he's still on the run. Guy couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? You do remember the beating he gave you last time, right? I let my guard down, that's all. Cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. You're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Now? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. It's a character assassination. A crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. Good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See ya. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? He's not the kind of guy you mess around with. Don't worry. We just want to check in.
I'm Ayabe's lawyer. Let me through. Sorry, no lawyers allowed yet. Well done, but let him pass. I'll vouch for him personally. Chief Prosecutor? Thanks. Were you aware there was an underground casino hidden down here, Yagami-san? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> Our friend Ayabe was really something, wasn't he? Who would have thought he'd take bribes from an illicit underground casino? Not to mention selling confidential police intel to the criminal underbelly of this town. Shintane-sensei surely stumbled upon Ayabe's secret. And so Ayabe killed him to make sure the truth stayed hidden. Quickly, with a police-issued handgun. I see. That's the story the prosecution is telling, huh? We can speak further once we get inside. I've learned a lot about you, Chief Prosecutor. About the tragedy in your family ten years ago. Then someone has betrayed me? Someone you betrayed. Someone who trusted you for years. I have to say, it was strange seeing how you behaved in Shono's lab. A public prosecutor, the so-called Defenders of Justice, chose to protect 89 over the sanctity of the law. I think it's time you drop the act. My mother, she was afflicted with early onset Alzheimer's. The disease progressed quickly. Not long after she started showing symptoms, she couldn't even recognize my face. Whenever I went to visit her, I was greeted with, Nice to meet you, as if she didn't know who I was. Occasionally she'd yell at me, accuse me of being a thief or a murderer. Watching my mother's mind deteriorate, well, it nearly broke me. And yet my brother continued caring for her. He was there when I couldn't be, all by himself. When we were young, he and I had both dreamt of becoming lawyers. He devoted himself to his studies, far better than I ever did. Practically worked himself to the bone. Yet, ultimately, he never managed to pass the bar. I can only imagine how he felt when I passed on my first attempt. And yet, he was happy for me, almost as if my success was his. He was truly a good man. Please, go on. When we learned that my mother had Alzheimer's, my brother was devastated by the news. He took it hard. I, on the other hand, was filled with internal conflict. I was torn between caring for my ailing mother and continuing my burgeoning career as a lawyer. But my brother could sense how I felt. And then he said to me, Don't worry. Leave Mom to me. Your success is all that matters. As long as you make it, my dream comes true too. And so, he continued caring for our mother for seven long years. 24 hours a day. A woman who couldn't even recognize him as her own son. Whereas I ran further and further away. But somewhere, deep down in my heart, I knew it couldn't continue that way. That someday, he would break. And the regret you feel, that failure, is what led you to 89. When was it? After Shintane-sensei's murder. 
Not long after, Vice Minister Ichinose summoned me personally to fill me in on the details. He did? But why? Ichinose-san predicted that the prosecutor's office would discover the dark truth about 89 before long. And upon looking into some family histories, he discovered what happened to my mother. When he realized the extent of it, he knew I would be sympathetic to their cause. His proposal was quite clear. 89 was a groundbreaking new drug, meant to save countless suffering patients and families. But if it was to see the light of day, I would have to look the other way for a while. Prosecutor Morita, have you heard this saying before? Hmm? Fire tempers iron, and temptation steals the just. If someone told you they knew how to make mankind immortal at the sacrifice of a few, you would have looked the other way no matter how many people had to die. I do feel guilt. I can't deny that. That's the only reason I'm still here. Shono has killed people to cover this up. Emi Terasawa died for it. What about her? Did she deserve that? Meanwhile, Shinpei Okubo was falsely convicted and sentenced to death. He wakes up every day not knowing if it's his last. What did he do to deserve that? Your guilt is nothing more than an act. Do you even realize what it is you're doing? That's enough. How do you think your brother would feel if he saw what you were doing now? Huh? Tell me, Morita! Shut up! Just... Shut up! If you want me to shut up, you're gonna have to kill me. Morita, Okubo Kun and Ayabe are depending on me. Emi Terasawa deserves justice, too. And I'm not stopping until I get it! Hey, Tak. Kuroi was here. I believe that's enough, Morita-san. Long time no see. Seems you're already back in action. <laughs> Guess I went too easy. You little... So, another two versus one fight? Is Yagami joining us? What are you doing here? I suggest you turn a blind eye to this. You're good at that, aren't you? Kaito-san! Think you could stay out of this? Like hell I will! You already had your turn. Kuroiwa killed Matsugane-san. And well, it's about time I pay him back for what he did. <sighs> Touching words, Yagami-san. But now is the time for action. And don't worry. I won't arrest you for obstruction on this. Don't talk to me about arrests. You're not even a cop. You're a goddamn assassin! Oh! 
Calm down. How would you even cover this up? There are limits to how much protection I can offer you. You have no reason to be here. Kaito san, let's go. Guys are Matsugane family, aren't they? <laughs> Damn right. They're probably worried about you or something. Afraid the 89 boys would come try to erase you, you know? What? Hey! There he is! Come on. We're out of here. Hoshino-kun. Yagami-san. When I heard you were here with Morita and Kuroiwa, I, um... I get it. You're the one who called Higashi over, aren't you? That's right. If I hadn't, 
Who knows what dirty tricks they would have used. I couldn't take that risk. <laughs> I appreciate that, Hoshino. And... And... I'm really sorry for what happened in Kido's office. I was out of line. You deserve trust. And I didn't give it. Yagami-san, I messed up. What I did was unacceptable. Threatening a witness is just... It's not how I want to go about winning this case, Yagami-san. Got one thing to say, Hoshino. What? Iron burns temptation, while the just are often tested by fire. Huh? <laughs> that he's got a black raincoat who are you 